Ah, oh, blackened, just the way I like it. Cut through a bullet. That is a bullet in this tree. How many, just guessing without, you know, without counting, what, how, you, how, yeah, how many years ago do you think that? the other day, I couldn't figure it out. A minimum of 40 years ago. From that bullet to the outside, 40 years. That's just On amazing. Church property. Church property, yeah. Well, it was. Who knows what it was years ago? <laughs> yeah, that that's uh that's from from World War II a practice airplane flying out of Barksdale, <laughs> just shooting into the woods. Yeah. Saw a big tree, thought he'd shoot at it. I had to get rid of all the ammo before they wow. get to the base. There you go. Huh. It's an all lead bullet. It has no copper to it. Little piece of history embedded in the tree. I wonder. Hey, go flip that one over, and we'll look at the other side of what, it. What caliber do you think that is? Maybe on the About a thirty. Uh, it's hard to tell with it. just the tip. Um, it'd have to be a minimum of thirty caliber. It's no handgun, that's for sure. Well, have you ever seen this before, or is it all the bullets? Time. Yeah, no kidding. Oh yeah, all yeah. the time. Bullets are not as bad as you would with a sixteen or twenty penny nail. Yeah. With a yard sale sign attached to it. Look at that. That's or, or or the axe head that somebody left in a tree one time. Oh my! <laughs> oh, you, did you see the tree at my house? That uh, ruined a chainsaw. It's got a. Uh, uh, I don't huh. know if it's a piston. A piston. Going in around the roots. Yeah. Yeah. And we couldn't get it out. Someone threw it down it at just, the base, and it yeah, grew around it. And just grew the around people it. People who who had this before. Uh, uh, in fact, we were drilling one of those pipe holes right over there well right there where the blue car is at couldn't get it in the ground <laughs> and the auger just wouldn't go down so he took the shovel and dug around there just a little bit come out with a big old wrench inch and, <laughs> inch and a half inch wrench <laughs> was, it, was, oh, this, yeah. was this was this farmland wrench up there he still got it was this but, farmland before but these guys no whatever basically they was, whatever this, they were working yeah. on resident They'd use whatever tools they had, Jeez. and then they'd leave them right there. I've got a... Uh... Okay. Ready? Yep. Ready? God, what a beautiful animal. Look at them blue eyes. Yeah. Well, you gonna give me a kiss? What? Give me a kiss, man. What is it? Come on. Give me a kiss. You just, the three of them? Right? Yeah, just the three of them. Can't remember three right? them. What you doing? Uh, we got it. Oh. We've what taught them, doing? these horses, unlike most, we've oh. taught them. We, we, we don't handle them. To cover their, their eyes. All messed up. Oh, yeah. So you can cover their eyes. And here's another thing a horse will never let you do grab them by the ear. Huh. Well, we've trained them to let us do that. This is the baby. They're really, right really here. docile. Yeah. Yeah. You can go from their nose mm -hmm. and run your hand up real fast, and it used to spook them. Quick they're, motions. They're red shirt paints. Huh. You got a niece over in Italy. Her name is Beatri and Beatrice. Beatrice in Italian, and this is Beatrice. Huh. This is just blue eyes. What? Blue eyes, huh? Blue Old blue eyes. <laughs> the half of blue here and blue on this side. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that odd looking, huh? Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Huh. That's okay, baby. That's okay. Yeah. I'd just call her B for sure. <laughs> yeah. They do like the petting. She's not a boy. She just wants to be loved. Yeah. That one that I had though, she Well, I'm a guy. Me. I just love petting animals. I just turned my back. She made that head right huh. How about a horse selfie? Can I get a horse selfie with you? <laughs> I don't know if you can still see in my mirror all the. I'm just, I just came back by where uh, the fire trucks and ambulances were, and now there's three times the amount of cop cars and ambulances and 
uh, state boys and sheriff's deputies and local police. And back here, there's a bayou, and I showed you our bayou, and uh, these bayous are so far out of their banks, they're, uh, I mean, they're just rip-roaring, flowing, you know? And when I looked over there, there was, uh, oh, the coroner's here too, so anytime the coroner shows up, there's a death. So I think what's happened is they found a body back in the bayou, and uh, I've seen a gurney back there, and all kinds of people just standing around, so I think there might have been a drowning. This is a really dangerous time and time of the year when the when the bayous come up out of their banks this far. Uh, they get to flowing faster than people are used to seeing them flow, at, and it's really, it'll, uh, you know, you get used to seeing something go a mile an hour, two miles an hour, 364 days out of the year, and suddenly it's going 20. You know, your mind just has a hard time wrapping around that and uh anyway sad day for whoever lost their life but it's been an interesting day uh i know i said thanks for watching on the last video but i ran out of battery and i recorded the horses with my phone and uh, a couple other things this is going to be a real long video but i think you'll find it interesting so uh last time thanks for watching